We got the game. We completed it. I love that so much. What's going on guys, it's Kuda here, and today we're going to be doing a video on Lin Kuei Tower 200, some early gameplay, because the tower won't be coming out for another three days. Well, by the time you're seeing this video, it's already the end of the 6th. It won't be here for another three days, so I wanted to get some early gameplay in so you guys can see what the tower might look like. Uh, this is going to be the Tower 200. We're also going to try to tackle the reward fiasco and try to see what the reward should look like. Um, that is like one of the biggest concerns people have is what is the reward actually going to be? So we have Qual Yang's Scepter and Qual Yang's Bracers. Now, when the tower first came out, it was two. It was both of these confirmed, guaranteed. And the thing about it is that some towers would show the epic and the, um, character last. So it would go epic and then diamond last. And for this tower, it would go Qual Yang Scepter, Qual Yang's Bracers, and then the diamond would show up. We aren't going to know 100% whether it's going to drop uh, both of these. They could have modified it. It's possible. I don't think so, but it is possible that they went back and changed it. This is only a template. Reward 1, Reward 2. This is only a template. I don't believe that the developers... Um, actually will be giving just one. I'm going to simulate the reward so you know what it looks like. Uh, I'll simulate it twice because I might be wrong. But we got here MK11 Liu Kang, MK11 Scorpion, and MK11 Sub-Zero. So I did have to make them Fusion Level X because that is going to be the best case scenario for doing this tower. Here's the gears we have. Okay, so we changed our gear just a little bit for MK11 Liu Kang. We put his Brutality gear on, of course, just so we can try to do Brutality. We also have two common pieces, but I think we're going to replace just one of those with Frost Axe. Frost Axe will be good. Let me put it right here. Uh, and that's just because it'll have a better damage boost compared to Frozen Mummy, which doesn't have that much damage boost. Oh, but we are resistant to Frostbite. Really? Oh, man. This is so difficult for me to decide what I want to do here. And we had to replace Scorpion's gear to give him an epic. If we want to get this in one attempt, that's just what we have to do. I guess the bosses have an advantage against us, and it is the freeze at the beginning. Other than that, they don't have anything else going for them. Okay, so here's what we want to do. I, I want to say a strategy really quick. So this is my talent tree. Do I have power draining causing snare? No, I don't. Do I? No. But here's what all you have to do to win this tower easily with Scorpion at fusion level zero. Fusion level zero, you heard me right. All you have to do is put Scorpion with, but on weak point attacks, Power Draining causing Snare. And then all you need is a gear that causes Power Draining on Special Attack 1. And if you can do that, then you can just Power Drain forever. But what I'm relying on in this, this uh, gameplay here is his Friendship Gear, which automatically does both of those things, which is freaking amazing. And I have one maxed uh, Epic, which is going to make me do a ton of damage. So then we can actually get one attempt. But Scorpion with Cripple might might even just work by itself. What you want is a gear that's resistant to Frostbite, though. And Frost Frost Mummy, it has resistance to Frostbite in it. So you should be able to do a ton of damage. What we need to do is Friendship, but we can't because we haven't been able to do enough special attacks against him. He's going to die. Then we're just going to use SP1. Oh, boy. That wasn't my intention. Nope, nope, please don't use SP2. Do you think I can get a block break against you? Oh, uh, yes, here we go. Block break, finally. Uh, that was kind of a close call, because he can use SP2 against me, and if they cause Frostbite, that's going to be some annoyance, like a really big annoyance. Okay, so we can do Friendship whenever he gets down to 25%. We're just relying on Scorpion this game. <laughs> All the other characters are just sitting in the back. That's just because they're not going to do enough damage. Okay, we don't even need to do this very well. Oh, jeez. Nice. Okay, freeze blocked. Oh, we don't even need to do this. Let's just use friendship. Friendship it is. Friendship it is. Let's go. Don't use a special attack against me. Oh, that's going to... Oh, nice. He didn't do the special combo under. So I think we have a chance here. We don't have resistance to frostbite, so that's going to be kind of annoying. We're going to tag out to Liu Kang. We're going to use SP3. Probably going to do a lot of damage, right? Because I have an epic piece maxed out on Liu Kang. 
Oh, but we're gonna take a lot of damage too. Oh, there we go. Woo! Okay, tagging out. I don't think we can get a friendship in. I don't think so. Oh, nope. No friendship. But we did it. We got the game. We completed it. I love that so much. So that is Tower 200 for Lin Kuei Tower. It doesn't take that much effort. I am using kind of an appealing team, right? This isn't the best team you could use. I think a better team would probably be Classic Green Team Soak. And then just using something that applies Frostbite. The only problem with Classic Rain Team Soak is that Raiden's usually a character you want on the team, but you can't use him. You can also do the Gunslinger Aaron Black um, strategy and just keep shooting over and over and over again. That still will work, but you need resistance to Frostbite. You could spam with Aaron Black, but once you get to MK11's, you're going to have to keep tagging in back and forth because he actually will be able to um, freeze you eventually. And there's nothing you can do about it. So let's see what the reward is. Okay, so this is a simulation of what the reward should be. Uh, Circle Shadows Liu Kang is one of the uh, characters you can get. So that is now Fusion Level X. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And then, realistically, it should be the Epic and the Common Gear. So in this case, Kuala Yang's uh, Bracers, because that's the only gear you can get at a Tower 200. There's no random gear chance, it's only the Brutality set. But the real question is, are you going to be able to get both of them at Tower 200 or just one? So this is kind of what we uh, imagine here right now. This is this is what I think the award should look like. Something like this. If it doesn't end up looking like this, though, I'm not sure what to say. It could just be Sub-Zero and the Kuala Yang Bracers or Kuala Yang Scepter. I'll put that on screen. That's what it should look like if um, they do decide to go with that route. That is going to be it for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. Um, I will be uploading some more content, probably some more tutorials, faction wars, uh, feats of strength. Who knows what I have in store for the future. Hope you guys did enjoy my video from yesterday as well. Even if Tanya, Smoke, and Reptile are not in MK12, uh, the, there is a few more updates before the official launch of uh, Onslaught, I would say. Maybe like three or four left and those few updates could not guaranteed but they could include some more characters to actually have a look at and maybe they'll even fill in characters that were in development with gray models Re regardless i'll be covering that instantly and showing you guys and trying to generalize it because i realize trying to hone in on an onslaught community is just not good enough trying to generalize it is going to make much of a difference for my channel and also uh, the benefit of everyone who wants to see. Let me just give a big shout out to my YouTube members. We have Hamakaza's channel, Unreal Pete, Proville Optical, The Mist, Ronald, Jeremy, Bagor, NNA Blaster, Ghosty XL, Angel, Noxon, Hamath, 3WPS, Plain Punch, Poppy Garcia Official, Devil, Stefano, Presh, Protex Hayes, Ali Imran, Karin, Metalcrab 3001, 
Jeff, Bibi, Frenzo, Exares, Damien, Shadow, Jufal, Candle, Friendly Guy with a Spurger, Grimmer Amia, Overkalady, Fitz Magic, Massive Cool, Rosislav, Siege Empire, Random, Fierce Wolf, and MK Fire. Thank you guys so much for being YouTube members. And yeah, peace out.